Hi folks, um, just a quick update on the Beofang. Um, so the last video I had the UV 9R Plus. Um, so I dumped it in water overnight, which was probably ill advised because the IP rating is only 67, which when, I, when you look at these things is half an hour and one meter. Um, now it dried out and well, there it's just switched itself off. So it, it's a bit hit or miss, um, but I wouldn't trust it. I've got the UV 9R Pro, um, so it's slightly, it's only a couple of pounds more expensive, but it comes with a better aerial, and uh, seems to be a bit more resistant to the front, sort of the, the keypad looks like a one piece rather than all these individuals where the water get underneath. Um, it's all the same programming, same top, same buttons at the side, same battery, you can swap the batteries around. Um, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do this time is test it a bit more like a like a what you would happen on the boat so i'm going to dunk it for five minutes and um, sort of just to simulate if you're in your cockpit um you know if you're heeling over something the water was getting in and um, you know j just that type of swamping rather than a, a you know like an overnight overkill as it turned out uh this will be my final test i'm not going to show you how to program this it's exactly the same as the uv 9r plus so if you haven't seen that video go and check it out and you'll see how to program it with the marine frequencies and it has the the frequencies in the description and whatnot so i'm not going to repost all that stuff um okay so now i'm going to stick this in a barrel of water and hope it doesn't turn out like okay, last time so here we go again we have one radio on a rope so again we're not going to keep this in for too long uh, or too deep There we go, out of water. I just went to test it, see if it still works. Okay, so this is actually the day after. Um, I noticed a few iffy things, um, so I wanted to leave it overnight and see what the crack was. Um, so not really a success. Um, I can The inside screen's all condensation again. Um, not quite as bad as the last time, but this is my UV 5R. So if I... M2, M2. So hold on. Test, test, test. So you can kind of hear the speaker crackling. That's what happened to the the UV 9R Plus uh, overnight. Um, again, this was only in for what three or four minutes. Wasn't even so and under uh, under a meter height. So for me, these are not. Uh, IP67 or whatever they advertise as they're probably splash proof at best um, so my recommendation is instead of spending 35 40 pounds one of those get the 15 pound ones and if it gets wet it gets wet and um, buy another one and um, okay well thanks for watching and that, as I say if you need to check out how to program them check out the other videos I've got the UV 5R and UV 9R programming guides uh, as well as sort of review stuff like that there and uh, I've also got quite a few videos on electric outboard and hopefully i'll be adding more to that shortly and um, so if you like what you see click the subscribe button and thanks for watching